This is Aaron Harold Kleiber. Yeah, what's up? This is Jeff Fiedas. Hey, this is Eric Nesby, and you're now listening to the Poor Man's Podcast. And you're listening to the Poor Man's Podcast. You're watching the Poor Man's Podcast. What, you want the yuppie cast? Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back at 565 Live Speakeasy and Stage. The voices you just heard, Aaron Kleiber, Eric Nesby, and... Jeff Fieldhouse will all be the comedians at our live show at 565 Wednesday, March 29th. We're going to do stand up and then we're going to do a game at the end. I think we're going to do like the, the old school match game. I'm I, I feel like we're going to do that. We're going to do that with the, the podcast people. We have Kleiber, we have Jeff Fieldhouse, Eric Nesby, and I think I might get a blazer with uh, patches on the oh, on the yeah, elbows. Absolutely yeah. Oh, fuck oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah, yes. man. Fuck that. yeah. Yes. The entire reason I'm planning the show is to justify that purchase. But anyway. Mm-hmm. Joining us for the second half, our guest, we have comedian and writer Kate Hamilton. Kate, thank you for joining us tonight. Absolutely honored to be here. <laughs> right off the bat, what do you think of the beer? I don't love it. <laughs> I, I feel like it should make me feel more pure and healthy and good, but it actually just makes me feel like I'm going to like burp up a barnyard, so I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. It's the millet. It's a really hard way to explain it. It's, it's, it's yes. not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> well, for anybody who uh, you know is, is uh, in the Bellevue area, stop at... Uh, <laughs> Please go down. Stop at please, Aurox, please man. Go down. Have some uh, I told you it was called Roach. <laughs> I am a piece of your mind. <laughs> I sent you. For gl- <laughs> now, this isn't against Aurox. Gluten-free beer sucks in general. This is not the worst gluten-free beer I've ever had. That's fair. That, that pale that's ale fair. and some other, other ones, not bad. So, like, let's say the ceiling for a gluten-free beer is a six out of 10. Okay. Like the best one ever. This is still like a five, which is, okay. and then that's not a great beer, but, but it's, it's almost good. the best kind of gluten-free beer. I mean, yeah. that's also <laughs> how I date. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah. If you can get the top of that low ceiling, that's perfect. Then you're, you're doing great. They'll never leave me. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to have the best of the worst than the worst of the best, I guess, right? That's actually yeah. why I moved back no. to Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, yeah. I was just going to ask you that. So what, are you from California and moved yeah. to Pittsburgh? or what I, is it i came here for grad school and then i left in covid times and i moved to los angeles and that gave me the sadsies yeah. so i came back here and tried to fall in love with a man who wears steel-toed boots unironically yeah. i'm still on that mission oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh hell yeah it's gonna go it's gonna fight go good. the good fight yeah, man <laughs> <laughs> battlefield but actually i just i wanted to come back i'm working on a project to play semi-autobiographical about a California girl who falls in love with the Yenzer. So I came back to write it and I just haven't left. Yet. So uh, so is it is it a play or yeah, is it a musical or wait how's yeah. Well there there are songs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to hear how this yeah. So how do you even so from the moment you're like you know what I want to do this to the point you're at now. How how is that process? Well, the process involved driving a um, Mazda CX-5 across the country. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it was honestly just, I was tossing around story ideas that I had. And I thought like something that people really need is a nice uplifting rom-com, you know, yeah. different world star-crossed lovers who doesn't like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. And the I girl from to- LA. Right. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and the guy from Pittsburgh. Oh, no, no. no, Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Like it's like it's a match you'd never expect. I mean, it's like there's nothing more satisfying, you know, than the Hallmark movie, the prissy heels that go into like I don't know, like cow patties or something. Yeah, you know, we love to see that. <laughs> so it's just actually just me like yeah. slipping on Iron City in a bar somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it's not the professional woman moving into the ski village oh, to I, find the single dad who's really actually, good at knitting. That's actually <laughs> next year for me. <laughs> I only say that because I it's like such a guilty pleasure. I kind of love uh, like Hallmark holiday yeah. movies. Oh, yeah. They're so I bad, do. they're good almost yeah. for yes. me, man. I think this is the year for you to release your guilt on that. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm just letting it all out, <laughs> yeah. man. But fuck I- Malk, fuck that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid callback to something that wasn't on the air, so... Uh. <laughs> Uh, my dad's dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the milk. <laughs> uh, super obscure now. Okay. Um, but so that seems so wild to me to like write a play that I don't know. That seems like something Shakespeare does. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, so I did go to grad school for playwriting, which is totally archaic. Like people, yeah. people honestly, when I would tell them that, they would say, people still do that. <laughs> I say, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I like, I like to consider myself sort of a crusader for live theater because a lot of times, like, we all love shows. We all love television. Yeah. And, like, I'm. I have a short attention span. My plays are kind of like TV. Yeah. Come see a play. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just do a TikTok people. play yeah. where every eight <laughs> seconds is a completely different thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, David. <laughs> just a rotating. Do we just have stage. a great idea? Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. No, there's gonna be some like theater person yeah. I know that's gonna listen to it, and then next yeah. year it's gonna be like. The TikTok play. Or <laughs> what happens when women? <laughs> the alternate title is always great. <laughs> Any play that you see, this is just a pro tip for those that might not be theater people. If you, yeah. see, if you see a play that has a main title and then it says, or, blah, yeah. blah, 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 do not go. Yeah. <laughs> do not buy tickets. <laughs> so, uh, so what kind of, what, process or not process where are you in the process i guess of putting together a play and then how do you go from writing it to producing it well it's kind of taken a number of different forms <laughs> yeah. so that's sort of a complicated question but it does dovetail into some other stuff i've been doing so i started writing it just as a standard play with multiple characters and then i realized it should probably be a one woman show so then i started to do stand up comedy so i could learn how to be a one woman oh. performer so now oh, I'm sick. reshaping the story for me to do yeah. and perform. So it's right now I do have a complete draft, and I am going to have a reading sometime soon. And then we'll see what happens. That's so the oh, reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the reason I got cool. into awesome. comedy is just to be comfortable doing a well, play. I've always been comfortable in front of people. Yeah. I love audiences. I always have. Um, but I hadn't really written for myself, and I was sick of actors getting compliments for my jokes. Yeah. Like, I was sick of people going after them and being like, oh, that was so funny. You were so funny. And I'm sitting back there like, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate that. Yeah, I would hate yes. that. That's Absolutely. the secondary title of Kate's play. It's just yeah. love me. <laughs> <laughs> One woman play. But well, it's me, love though. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it so you can. It's fine. <laughs> so that's really cool that you, I, I guess, did you do any stand-up before coming to Pittsburgh in California at all? Well, or don't when did tell that anyone start? this, but yeah. I did improv in college. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How did you like that? I kind of, I th I feel like I would like improv. I loved it. Yeah. It was sick. I went to a really <laughs> small, I went to a really small, like, college and the social order was completely disturbed. So mm -hmm. like the hotties were people that did comedy in acapella. Oh, so, yeah. like we would have show like yeah. fraternity boys. That barbershop quartet yeah, was a yeah. fucking yeah. hog, yeah. man. We got a big <laughs> stacked show for you. We've yeah. got acapella and improv comedy. It sounds like someone's absolute nightmare. Yeah. But I loved it. I loved the people that I met through it. And it was like, a, it was a fun little release. And I think I learned a lot just about, you know, pivoting and, stage presence i guess i don't know is that something <laughs> where like you'll go and like i know it's improv but it's like you guys work out kind of like things that you might come up with like like oh yeah. this kind of worked like let's kind of riff off this kind of like I what a rapper what, would do in a freestyle yeah i think what a lot of us <laughs> yeah. as i know a lot about freestyle rap yeah well that's um, why i asked you man <laughs> you're from compton right you said la yeah <laughs> Um, no, but I think that one thing... Did I read would, the wrong bio? <laughs> <laughs> one thing we would do is sometimes we would, like, develop a character yeah. that then would become someone that we would play again and again in scenes, and it would just be a matter of time before, yeah. you know, like... But it's almost like you got to know the character. Yes, so exactly. Okay, so it wasn't as hard because you're used to that character, so it's almost like right. a person you already know. Right. So I was, like, splitting myself in half between <laughs> me and Nathan, the 14-year-old boy who lives inside of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there. Yeah. I like that you named him Nathan. Where did you come up with that one? <laughs> yeah, you would not. Yeah. <laughs> he told me his name. <laughs> I'm not supposed to drink beer, but my dad says I can have this one because it's gluten free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nathan. <laughs> Sounds like Nathan. Classic Nate. 
Um, so the one thing I, I saw when I was signing up for an open mic, actually, they pinned it at the top. You have something you wrote for the city paper with yes. all the open mics. So are you do you write for the city paper regularly or are you like freelance or how do you do that? I freelanced that article for them. Yeah. And so I, I it was when I just came back and I was trying to get into the comedy thing. Yeah. And I was super overwhelmed by the open mic scene because I didn't know what things were going to be like. Yeah. And I'm sort of, you know, like I'm like the kind of person who likes to know exactly what's going to happen when I yeah. walk in the room. Yeah. Who I'm gonna see, what the vibe mm-hmm. is, what I'm supposed to order, what I'm supposed to wear. Yeah. So I just like wanted to give people that. About I, the I open had mic a, I had to go to like yeah. open mics twice as a viewer to yeah. feel that, feel it yeah, out. Yeah. Oh my god! When I it was, was like from the wire, like I need to get there early and like plan out to see if I'm gonna get a hit or whatever. <laughs> and like, okay, they seem okay. So in next week, I you know when, I'll be alright. When I was feeling it out, I like took my mom with me, which yeah. was hysterical because of course like everyone just sees us and we're just sitting there like watching like enraptured audience members and we're always getting just like called out by everyone. Now yeah. I know all these people and I'm yeah. like, remember when? You know, me and my mom were sitting yeah. there and you were harassing us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like asking my mom her take on like, their, she's like, they're like, do you like condoms? And Kate's like, nope. And pointing at herself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> she likes it raw. <laughs> right, ma? <laughs> Sweet. Don't yeah, say that, so drop. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yes. So, uh, is is writing something that you you have more of a passion for than comedy or how kind of? That's that's really digging deep, Chris. Um, yeah. I'd say that like I have. Do you feel loved? <laughs> no. Not not yeah. nearly enough. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I think that I love to entertain. I think that's yeah. always been my calling. Yeah. And that's the most so obnoxious. You yeah. that out. But, um, yeah. I, feel like, um, I feel like I've it's always, an art. Yeah. <laughs> I've always felt like the purpose for an evening of either theater or comedy or a movie is like, I want someone to leave and feel like they had a good time. Like their money was well spent. Yeah. Maybe they don't learn anything. Maybe they do. Yeah. Maybe they don't become better people. Maybe they become worse people. But <laughs> did, did they have a good time? Absolutely. Yeah. But did you laugh? Yeah. yeah. And right. I think that like both comedy and theater have scratched that itch for me in a really special way. I think that's cool, like mm-hmm. trying different things in completely kind of different genres, like just you know doing a stand up versus doing a written out play with songs. Obviously, <laughs> do you have any musical history? Well, I was a theater kid. Yeah, Can you that hasn't come right across. Now. No, I didn't oh, okay. do my I didn't do my <laughs> vocal trills in the car. I normally would have, but there was a cop right there, and I didn't want him oh, to yeah, see no, my tongue. Where did you step out of the car? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't want to be and late. Stop doing jazz hands. We're trying <laughs> yeah. to cuff you. <laughs> but um, well, I just I, I don't know. I I love. I have very strange music taste. Like I only listen to Broadway show tunes and country western music. No, oh, okay. Really, like maybe fucking so- sick. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. like sometimes Billy Joel. But, <laughs> like that's present. Um, but I think it's because I always like when songs tell stories, and those yes. are the two genres uh, that yeah. really yeah. do it. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm like sitting there writing my weird country western uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh musical. But, um, <laughs> I can tell you, though, what the chorus is. I can't sing it, but I can tell you the lyrics. Okay. I want a steel city romance, a guy to take me at. <laughs> I want that Pittsburgh kind of love without a trace of dat. <laughs> there you go. That's oh, pretty good, man. Beautiful. That's funky. That, that is. Am I, am I crying right now? Yes. <laughs> I, can take, I can take it a little further. We can go, oh, into, sure. we can go into a verse. Oh. <laughs> See what I talked about freestyle, we, man? She had it going. Yeah. He'll kiss me hello. And be bad at farewells. He'll bring me flowers and lift big dumbbells. Oh. He'll hold my hand when it's slippy and cook my <laughs> eggs extra dippy. Most oh. of all, he'll always make me smile. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I'm moved. I know. I'm moved. <laughs> that was fantastic. I want to get that written in like script on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> You, you gotta get that to tattooed that. on me like somewhere. So song. <laughs> when she rhymes slippy with dippy, I knew she was mine. <laughs> I didn't think she's going with small. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, hey, thanks, y'all. I Beautiful. would go and watch that. Same thing. I would you. download that song. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. I want it to be my ring back tent. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody calls me, that's what that's they what hear. That's what they hear. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a good time in yeah. life. 
<laughs> so, Kate, do you have any stand-up shows coming up or anything? I do, yeah. On Saturday, March 25th, <clears throat> that's this Saturday at 9.30 p.m., the Kingsview Meadery in Mount oh. Lebanon, um, hosted by Vinny Palatucci with me, Georgia Warder, Andres O'Rourke, Peter Arsenal, and... James Hamilton. I don't love that there are two Hamiltons on the show, but it's fine. Oh, uh, we'll deal with it. <laughs> At least now. you're not both named Abby Elias. That's true. <laughs> yeah. that, there, are, there are that could be way worse. For me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. And then I am doing that uh, roast battle at Parkway. Oh yeah, on oh, Friday. I and hear that is oh such a fun time. I am so scared. Yeah, because <laughs> I I will have, cry. I don't think I've ever expressed like anything even slightly mean spirited or yeah. like critical and, I, and maybe it's within me and like maybe it's oh, going to yeah. come out but i'm scared i'm going to say something let nathan then talk. i'm going to feel bad <laughs> oh nathan's going to roast pete let morris nathan like, talk. Nathan. Let him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, i actually feel like nathan and it's pete who i'm facing man. the first round like might have a lot in common <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 god is pete like, just nathan <laughs> <laughs> personified um, you're just projecting Pete, who's Pete? Yeah. Pete's never existed, Kate. <laughs> so that's on the 31st at Parkway Theater and Film Lounge yes. in McKee's Rocks. Yeah, no, I've I've heard really good things about it. If you, if you see the people who win, you uh, you know they they have them with the championship belt. Rarely would you think they would be boxing, the, based right. on uh you know appearance alone. But you know some of the funniest people around, and you know the thing with roast too, it's not always like the funniest written comedian kind of thing. You know you see Jeff Ross doing roasts on TV and stuff. Rarely you see him do a half an hour special. There's certain people it's kind of their niche to do that. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah definitely sure. stop down for that. Kate, anything else? Uh, if anybody wants to find you or, you know, find anything. Oh, yeah, I'll give my Instagram. Yeah, I was like about please. to give my home address. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Can you tell us what hours you sleep my, in which window? This is my work schedule when I will and will not be home. If anyone wants to find me, I'm yeah. very, very tall. You can't miss me. Um, <laughs> Get it on vacation first week of May. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my Instagram handle is at... Kate Conde, that's C O N D E, Hamilton. My website is www.katecondehamilton.com. And I post uh, upcoming stuff on there. And eventually I'm going to blog. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I love a good blog. Yeah. Do you? I do. I never knew I, that about I you, actually Chef. really do. <laughs> Didn't know that about you either. Anything to not watch Forrest Gump, man. <laughs> that's all I swear to God. <laughs> Have you watched so it yet? Have you watched it again? Have you? No. Okay. Have we not seen it? In two well. weeks, we have our two-year anniversary of this show, which means two years. I have been begging you to watch <laughs> Forrest Gump <laughs> every week. If you don't watch it, you're getting to bed, dude. <laughs> the um, bed. <bait. laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just joshing. Just joshing with you. Chase, have you ever done stage performing? Because I feel like I there's a not. play coming out that. No. I have not. No. You I can do not. some backing vocals for. Yeah. Oh, I probably could actually. Yeah, yeah. I, if, if I could stand, but I could be the man's voice. Actually, I might. I might need you. I, <laughs> dude, I got best picks for his accent is getting to Kenya. Hey, man, you're in the running. <laughs> it's, 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 it's I got to stutter and everything. I'll, I'll even start drinking again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. That's how Daddy committed did. he is. Daddy Daddy get the wow. real one. Hey, wow. Get the Daddy real man. one. Wow. <laughs> A lot of people will say they'll stop drinking, but few people will say they, they will start, start drinking, start drinking, drinking that. and that's for commitment, that. yeah. Cheech. That we it. love that, man. Thank you, Honestly. thank you. That's the method, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the you got going on over there. Uh, I, don't, I don't care to know. I'm yeah, yeah, so no. pleased. Oh, man. no, you do. So you, pleased you, you to not care. know. Yeah. Anyway, do you want to do some news, Danny? Yeah, let's do we'll some do news. some news, and Kate will hang out, and uh, we'll discuss some uh, whatever stories Danny has. Perfect. The news. Danny <laughs> <laughs> I felt pressured to do that. All right. Good. So speak. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of ticket sales, um, Ticketmaster issued partial refunds after the Cures. Robert Smith says that they were way too high and the prices sickened him. Sick. So Ticketmaster. Yeah. That's all he had to say. That's all he had to say. That's he all you got to say. Well, he went to Twitter. 
And he said, I don't like this. And they're refunding their tickets because I guess their price point was very affordable. It was like $80 a ticket. Yeah. And they tacked on so many fees, it was more expensive than the actual tickets themselves. Wow. <gasps> oh, shit. Fuck that. Do we know what Eddie Vedder thinks? Nobody cares what Eddie Vedder oh. thinks. Hey, dude, he goes toe-to-toe with Ticketmaster, man. He's like the biggest uh, Ticketmaster fuck, foul. Fuck, fuck Eddie Vedder. It was about time. Are what they were we? The we're 50 price, minutes in before Cheech just says fuck something for no reason. <laughs> What's your beef <laughs> with Eddie Vedder, man? He's a fucking pussy. Oh. Fuck Pearl Jam, too. There won't be an actual reason. <laughs> okay. Um, He's just a little <laughs> bitch, dude. He's a little bitch. I was like, who? Eddie Vedder. Pearl Jam. <laughs> So are they refunding <laughs> everything? <laughs> Fucking fake motherfucker. <laughs> Good for the cure, though. Good Just for the kidding. cure. Yes. Good for them. What's a cure song? Uh, love song. Love song. Friday, I'm in love. Boys yeah. don't cry. Come on, man. Yeah. The cure? Classic 80s. God. I told you already what I listened to. <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. True, true. That's true. She did true. warn us. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Google That's a picture true. of Robert Smith. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. You need it's, him to just star in Oklahoma or something. Yeah. It would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> interesting dude. But, I mean, I think that's great. No, yeah, good for is him. It the, he's like the, the original the emo guy. Thing? Yeah, exactly. Just the service fees. Oh, okay. Because that's they're crazy. really fucking ridiculous. That's insane. <laughs> they really are. It's good like, for him. It yeah. probably is equal. Yeah. Or you said it was more for some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, more than the ticket itself. So, we love that. We love that. Yeah. Next big news story, guys. Get ready. French Bulldogs are America's new favorite dog breed. Saw that. Yeah. The yeah. Can it be America's cute. favorite dog breed if it's French Bulldog? I feel like we're traitors for our own country, it's man. It's a freedom bulldog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. That's that solves yes. that literally solves my problem. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Knocking down the Labrador Retriever after 31 years is number one. Wow. You had a good run, man. Wow. No more. That's because all men are called freaking Labradoodles now. They Literally. have like golden retriever activity or whatever. Golden it is. retriever energy. energy? Well, I'm called what? that. So <laughs> yeah, so that's I like mean, the new thing. So now those for dogs sure are now humans. <laughs> now that dog has to be replaced as the most loved dog. Exactly. Because now that dog's turned into a human now. But like, freedom bulldogs have a lot of <laughs> breathing problems, and they can't even like function without surgery inevitable surgery. no literally yeah 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 they don't live long do they no, no. that sounds uh, exactly like an american man I guess so maybe yeah. it, maybe it fits in perfectly it's going well. <laughs> just the ephemerality of life yeah yeah mm-hmm. that's what i was gonna say after but you beat me to it man <laughs> <laughs> uh, shay what's your favorite dog a raccoon Okay, I knew okay. a raccoon. A raccoon. God. Nice. Danny, thank you. Favorite dog. That's what I do. That's so. um, <laughs> obviously the Pomeranian. Pomeranian. Too Is that the, the small fuzzy one? Yes. Yeah. I want one so bad. I feel like I know They're your answer. So Favorite bad. dog. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, my friend. Yeah, that's what I feel. I have one. Her name is Lucy. I grew up with them. They're I'll show angels. you a picture uh, whenever we get off. <laughs> yeah. She's a fucking also, doll. She also, also, let doll me tell you about the, I saw a picture of Cheech's dog and a picture where he has 11, 11 decks of Uno. Who yeah. do you know who has 11 decks of Uno at their house? Why? Yeah, Because it's fucking sick and I collect them. So I, like, I'm all about it. I so, love it. So, I so, think it's great. I collect them. And so so, so uh, it's, it, this started before me and Chris's owl roll. But, uh, <laughs> I, anytime I go out and I like find an Uno deck that I don't have, I have to buy it. Doesn't matter what it is. Specifically Uno. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uno. Okay. So like... I have, there's yeah. like a, a pride one Skip with all nothing. sorts of different co- cards. Oh God, there's <laughs> uh, like I have Mattel's 75th anniversary with like Barbie and like all these <gasps> different toys on them and shit. Mm. And then there's other ones that are like Uno Dare. So there's like these wild cards where like if somebody plays a Dare card, like you have to like hop on one leg around the room or some yeah. shit. Yeah. And then, so there's like so, some of the decks are like, yeah, a little like special shits or whatever. And That's it's, cool. yeah, it's tight. I love playing it. Let me ask you, I'll, I'll ask the whole panel this because this was a debate we got in last week at 565 Girl upstairs. Uh, before the show, we were playing Uno with some people and we got in the debate. When you get a, or when you go to put a card down and you don't have the color or the number or whatever, you have to pick up a card. Do you pick up one card and then it goes to the next person, or do you pick up until no, you get one? No, you pick one? up until you play. Until mm-hmm. you play. Yep. Yeah. I think, yeah, pick up. Trust, yeah, pick up trust me, play. I fucking Wow, know. there was a big debate up there about it. What no. do you say? What do they say? I've played both ways, so that's why I didn't, I didn't know. I've but never I, played I the know, other way. I know no. the fucking rules. I've never played the other way. Yeah, I believe what you did. What were they saying? Yeah. 
Well, well some of saying? them, they Sh- probably think that you can stack plus two and fours too, huh? Fucking assholes. You can't do that. Shark no. dude. Shark no. dude. If you, you go uh, back, you well, got to go back can. and listen to some some episodes. Sharky. Or go back and His watch some on YouTube. Sharky boy. The, the shark that came down here was adamant yeah. Yeah. about about picking up until you get one. Yeah, you have to. That's yeah. how you play. Yeah. All right. That's why I asked, man. Yeah. Apparently, what'd it was you, a debate. What did you first learn? I've never played both ways, so that's what I'm asking. Like, what did you first start playing on? Uh, I think I first did you just go, but I think I first oh. played like Uno Sesame Street Uno. So it might oh, have yeah, been yeah, like yeah. Monopoly Junior rules. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so right. so maybe little yeah. hands couldn't hold that many cards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I meant eight. everybody's little hands <laughs> yeah, couldn't whatever, hold Shay. that many yeah. cards. They can't. I can't hold that. I like little right hands, now. Shay. It makes me look that much bigger. <laughs> Shut okay? up, Chris. I wasn't talking to you directly. Yeah, whatever, Shay. You're a big, strong man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Is there anything more condescending than that? <laughs> You're a big boy. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thanks, Shay. Love it. What's the last story before? Oh, there's one more. Um. Okay. Nike and Puma announced that they will no longer use kangaroo leather. I don't know if you guys knew this. Didn't. But all soccer cleats are made with kangaroo leather. Yeah, did not. Disgusting. Um, did not know that. They Barbaric. have a kangaroo Gross. on some of them, and I never made that connection. Do they? I thought on some of them. Oh. Or at least I've seen some shoes with them. Yeah, hmm. apparently it's called K-leather, and that's why. <laughs> So I like, didn't know so that. So why are they like why are they thing? stop why are they not using it anymore? Because I think the kangaroos are going bye bye. <laughs> oh. Like it's just you know not using kangaroo skin. Oh, okay. I think this was actually a bill passed last Where year. Where you can't use it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Wouldn't think that we would have had to have done that. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a thing. No. Ew. Yeah. That's Ew. sad. So wait, that's what which sad. shoes were they? Puma and Nike. I'm about you to just catch my shoes on fire. soccer cleats. Does Puma use Puma leather? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, can you call uh, yourself Puma if you use kangaroo? Know, you fucking liar. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Yeah, that's that's actually right. true. I didn't yeah. think about that. Let's go they buy might. a pair of Puma soccer, yeah. cle- soccer cleats and uh, sue. <laughs> for for you know, I would have never bought yeah. them if I knew a Puma wasn't murdered in making them. Mar- <laughs> that <would've- laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Fraudulent marketing. It is yeah. Fuck them. I don't wear any cleats without at least a wildcat being murdered. I don't know. And why is it only cleats? Like, I thought yeah. that yeah, was yeah, weird. Yeah. Like, it's only soccer cleats. So, I don't... I've always thought soccer people are weird. Yeah, man. They are. I mean, they are. They are. <laughs> and people that watch soccer, worse. Like, they probably wear kangaroo skin. Worse. Like, yes. Fun. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, I agree. Soccer <laughs> players, are awful. Too. People who watch soccer, the worst. Oh. Americans who only watch World Cup, worst. Ew. Yeah. 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 Really, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. Yes. Because then they have to tell you about Landon Donovan, who you didn't know about it a week and a half ago. I don't care, man. I don't know who that is, and I don't care Look, who it is. Look, no. yeah. yeah. exactly. no. 2008. <laughs> yeah, facts. Whatever, man. He's a midfielder. <laughs> it's a reason to drink. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's, she's exactly right. Which I mean, I get it, but I mean, do we like need a reason? Though? I was no. gonna say I never <laughs> understood the whole reason. Dude, to support drink local thing. business. Yeah. There's yeah. your reason to drink. You don't need anything else. There you go. Just yeah. six feet above Boom. the ground today. You're being, yeah, you're being a hero. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty Cheers. good reason. The day's the day. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, but Danny, that was the last one. I, uh, kangaroos are wild, man. Have you ever seen like baby kangaroos, like the joeys in the in the pouch and shit? Yeah, yeah. 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 They're like wild. born like skinless and it shit, like minus, look, and then they like grow in the the it pouch. It looks nothing like the picture books depicted when That's I was growing so up. You know so what? True, and I just yeah. found this out. Was that you God that told me it. about kangaroos who drown people? Wait, what? I did. I, we talked about it last week. I, don't, I think that you brought that up, though. I think there's no way we talked about you. that. Why do I not remember what? any conversation I've ever? Yeah, had? you don't remember anything ever. <laughs> they drown we definitely people. Definitely talked about it. Okay, so I, I was like, somebody told me the kangaroos drown people, and I was like, okay, that seems weird, but it seems like something somebody says. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna follow. You looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's always what I do when I question that. Obviously. So they were like, if you ever see a kangaroo in a body of water, don't go near it. <laughs> and I was like, they, drown you. It's like they, they will go up what? to like up to like their waist, like above their waist, and they'll just wait there. And then if you come in, they will seriously like kick you and then fucking hold you underwater until you're dead. It's a way that like they like purpose. kill people. Yeah. Like they want to. Like they is def- it like a way of, of Jeez, you have a computer in front of you. This is the sole reason. Yeah, type yeah, up yeah. type up kangaroo drowning, man. <laughs> is, this, is this why I, we I'm use them so for I'm so interested in this. Wait, is it a it's way of, not of hunting? No. Like, well, I don't Maybe. think they. Well, I I don't know. I have questions. Why? 
Well, hopefully Cheech can well, answer Well, it takes a lot of effort to hold someone underwater. So yeah. they must be actually pretty strong in oh their my upper God, body. Casey. Dude, yeah. I feel like ridiculously strong. Yeah, well, oh, I know they're, they're fucking legs jacked, are right, dude. But no, but they're huge. Their yeah. arms are because they're so tiny. They're yeah. huge. I don't know that there's any animal they? that can, like, physically beat somebody up like like a huge, like, they might like, bite like, you, like but, like, a kangaroo will, like, fucking punch you in the mouth. A bear. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. But then know. that, but like I feel like the kangaroo doesn't do a lot of biting after. No. I feel like it's strictly hands, man. Yeah, like the lets his hands speak they first. Field. Yeah, they literally that is a way of hunting. No, really? for them. Yeah, if they need it, like if they're looking out, they're looking for food. They'll just go poach up in a fucking body of water, wait for somebody to come through. <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were. I thought they were herbivores. Are they? Are they omnivorous? I, I guess so. That's what it's saying. Only when they're full of hate. Makes <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, wow. sense. That's yeah, so sad. I guess, that man. I don't so know. Sad. Yeah, they seem like they eat like berries and stuff. Yeah, like, like little tree, like tree stuff. I don't know. Yeah. It's a cute little. Like, whatever yeah, they do yeah, in yeah, Australia. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. no! They lure, pr- they lure predators into the water. Oh, so if they're being chased, they so go in there. Yeah, if they're yeah. Okay, so nobody I, gets yeah. murdered without asking for it first that's in the kangaroo much. family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, they're just oh, chilling. So we love a kangaroo. Somebody's coming and after them. They're like, okay, yeah, fuck you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go the stand water in here. It is. We <laughs> dare you to come in here, man. Yeah. It's a good thing there's just random bodies of oh three feet God. water yeah, in Australia. Shit. This funny. This oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Man. This fucking picture is hilarious. I wish I could pull this up. Don't worry. We'll we'll post it with what we. With everybody else, show it. You can show it to these people. That's oh the one God. I was thinking of, man. That's exactly the one. Oh he's just waiting. He's just waiting. He is waiting. He's literally waiting, but he's waiting too. Uh, you want, <laughs> you want some of this? <laughs> you find another waiting in water joke, Shay. That was good. Yeah, man. I liked it. It's a fucking We're word very joke. Passionate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a very passionate. Yeah. It was. Oh shit. Okay. Damn. Well, I'm glad we came to that. Hopefully they stop. Maybe it's fucking Nike chasing them in there. We never <gasps> thought about that, man. Uh, that would make sense. That does make sense. Here we go. Just need. Motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know, okay. I feel like this is run its course. So, um, <laughs> Kate, is there anything you would like to end on? To let anybody know, other than uh, you said there your website. Uh, can we look forward to this uh, Pittsburgh romance coming? You can you can absolutely look forward to it. Follow me on all my socials, and you'll see little updates. Absolutely, if we see it, we'll absolutely share it and post it. It's always awesome to talk to you. I've seen you at a couple open mics, and you're always very very funny. Oh, thank and you I, so yeah, much. Absolutely, and I wouldn't just lie about it like I would like we enjoy Shay here. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, we love you. No, I you kid. That's we what I'm saying. I too. wouldn't say something like that. Yeah, absolutely. definitely not. Shay, Chris. I love you. You're the best. I'm so happy you. you're here. You've been you've been here all the time. Are you here next week? No, I sh- think so. Oh, you think so? I'm pretty sure. Dude, I don't Ronnie's think- Ronnie's awesome. I'm excited for Ronnie to come on. Or next is week. next Were you week here? the one that I missed? The only one I missed. I, I, I think think yeah, that's, that's a missing. one year space to miss. Oh, Danny, have uh-huh. you have you been on with Ronnie? No, Ronnie I'm not. That'll no? be the first. Okay, oh, do you know Ronnie? Funny. Ronnie's awesome. He's funny. Yeah. I like I liked him. So he was good. I'm excited to have him on, and then. Jesus. And then in April, we have our 100th episode, which I think is Terry Jones. We have our year episode. And the week after, we have Seneca Stone. So that's what April kind of looks like going Exciting. forward. Yeah, Stacked absolutely. April, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but Kate, thank you so much for coming on. It's, thank you uh, for uh, having me. Absolutely. Pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Dustin, thank you for coming on, man. Hi, there you go. There's Dustin. Uh, we don't have a camera there. Uh-huh. But you can imagine what he sounded like. Watch <laughs> the first half. It gives you a reason to watch the first half so you can see Dustin's smiling face. Um, Dustin is at the Beardy Boy, right? The Beardy Boy? Yep. There we go. So check that out for Cheech, for Shay, for Kate, for Dustin, for Danny. I'm Chris. I'm going to say I'm so happy yeah. that I was allowed to be part of your day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. We hope you had a good time. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the show to catch the latest episodes and share with your friends. We can't promise not to embarrass you. And if you just can't get enough, follow us on Instagram at Poor Man's Podcast 412, Twitter at Poor Man's Pod 412, and Facebook. This is Pittsburgh's own Poor Man's Podcast signing off. See you next week. In my opinion, that sucked. Woo! Woo! Four Man's Podcast, best podcast in Pittsburgh.